VDL set for humiliating apology today after hit fan with Brexit deal threat. Ursula von der Leyen is bracing for a humiliating day in the European Parliament today, with MEPs set to grill the Commission president over her vaccine strategy mistakes. Mrs. von der Leyen is expected to once again apologize for moving to trigger Article 16 of the Brexit withdrawal agreement last month in a bid to ban vaccine exports from the EU to Northern Ireland. The Commission chief was also criticized for engaging in a bitter row with vaccine producer AstraZeneca, resulting in that EU institution being forced to publish its contract with the jab provider. Peter Lees, the European People's Party's health spokesperson in the European Parliament, said Mrs. von der Leyen will most likely see most of the attacks today coming from German MEPs in the Brussels chamber. He said, A lot of people in Germany are frustrated. He argued that, while a lot of issues are still to be discussed, a lot of the criticism will be focused on party politics, adding, It could be destroying Europe's credibility in Germany. One EU diplomat went even further than that, telling Politico that Mrs. von der Leyen always wants the spotlight when there's something to announce or celebrate, but wins in her neck when the diplomat called the Commission President's decision to appear before MEPs today too little, too late. They added, Joseph Borrell's only accomplishment this week was making von der Leyen look good. In a bid to defend Mrs. von der Leyen ahead of her brutal grilling in Parliament, a Commission official said, is that EU, as a 27-country union slower than a single country question mark quote obviously, yes. Those having 27 countries working together to a single end have advantages. Again, obviously, yes. They added, can you imagine, if it had been otherwise, 27 member states fighting for vaccines question mark quote smaller countries would likely have been left behind had big beasts like Germany gone it alone. The main beneficiaries would have been the pharma companies, who could have played countries off each other, as they like to do. Others have come to the defense of the commission chiefs over her row with AstraZeneca claiming it was the vaccine provider that failed to deliver on its EU contracts, when it announced there will be a cut to the number of doses provided to the bloc. S and D M E P Jit Gutland said. Now is the time, to prioritize how the supply of vaccines should increase, not have internal blame games. I also suspect that the shortcomings of the European Commission have more to do with processes and bureaucracy than the capability of the negotiating team. On Monday, the EU's Ombudsman Emily O'Reilly found the Commission had failed to ensure its European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control, ECDC, could act in a transparent way.